Hi, this is Mr. Pence from TapCritic.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at GMAP US version 1.3 from XROAD. We are huge fans of GMAP here at TapCritic, and we've been following this application ever since it was introduced on the iTunes App Store. And last month we did a review of version 1.2 of GMAP, and we absolutely fell in love with it. But about a day later, GMAP just disappeared off the iTunes App Store for about a week. And in talking with the developer XROAD, this was done in order to comply with Apple's terms and conditions of GPS navigational applications. And uh, XROAD and Apple got together, worked it all out, and here we are. We have version 1.3 and it is incredible. Uh, 1.3 has added features that both TapCritic and users across the nation were really requesting. And uh, it's so awesome to have a developer like XROAD that listens to their end user and will take their suggestions and put it in future versions of software. So before I get to showing you some of the features of 1.3, what I would like to do is just show you how GMAP works. Uh, here's the, the map layout. It's the heart and soul of any GPS, and it looks like any GPS because it is a GPS. Uh, this is the 3D view. Uh, you click this icon over here and you've got uh, a heading up view. Click it again, you've got a north up view. And in any one of these modes you can zoom in and zoom out. Pretty standard stuff, uh, pretty awesome. My, my favorite view is the 3D view here. Um, one feature that they added uh, from 1.2 to 1.3 is uh, the bigger uh, position dot. It's bigger, they've enlarged it, which is sort of nice, it's easier to find now. Uh, so let's let's look at a couple of things. Uh, 1.3, you know, the, one of the things that we really wanted and users everywhere wanted was in 1.2, you could set a route from point A to point B, but there was never any kind of audible alert to give you kind of indication when you needed to turn or if you needed to merge or do anything. And we know there's a lot of limitations under Apple's terms and conditions. And we know that's all going to change when OS 3.0 comes out. But in the meantime, it, would, it was still nice to have something. And with 1.3, GMAP has added that. And let's show you, I'm going to show you how it works here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to a point of interest. And why don't we go shopping and see if uh, uh, Target has any uh, Acers on sale here. So we're going to hit Target. Um, there it is. A uh, pretty cool feature is you have a phone indicator in the bottom right. If you wanted to call the store before you went there, you could hit that and hit call. I'm not going to hit it though because it goes right to the phone. Uh, but it's an awesome feature nevertheless. Um, we're going to go ahead and hit go. It's calculating our route and there it is. It's already got our route into place. Um, let's go back to route here and simulate this route. And uh, there we go. We're going to do a route preview. But before I hit the route preview, <clears throat> another added feature in 1.3 is you can go right here to your route options within your route. It's pretty nice. Uh, a short, fast, um, got your AI route, your scenic route, your traffic pattern. Um, the traffic pattern is a really interesting technology. And it's by Navtech, the same people who make all the maps for... Uh, GMAP, and basically what it does is it takes in statistical driving pattern data of every major city in the U.S. and this sort of compiles it. So let's say, for example, if I'm leaving first thing in the morning and I want to run by Target at 8 o'clock, it's going to say, hey, statistically, there's bad traffic between these hours. You might want to readjust your departure time. A really awesome feature. Uh, the AI route we talked about in 1.2, but it's still an awesome feature. And basically what it does is if you turn this on, GMAP remembers the way you drive, the routes that you take, uh, uh, roads that you take more, you know, often than other roads, and it's pretty cool. It just sort of, sort of uh, knows your driving habits, which is pretty cool. So when you go in to say, hey, I need to go somewhere, uh, it'll take the AI route into consideration, and it'll say, hey, you know what, you normally take this road, why don't you take this road because this uh, point of interest is close to where you know you normally normally drive so pretty awesome feature uh, the vehicle options you have car and truck uh, one option I would like to see in the future and that I miss with my old fried uh, Mio Digi Walker 
as a pedestrian option. It'd be really nice, like if you're in a big city, to actually have a pedestrian feature here. Um, you've got your regular avoidances that you would have in other, any other GPS application, but it's still awesome that GMAP has it here. Okay, so let's go back. Let's um, preview our route here. First thing you'll notice in the new version is you have a way preview. It's going to tell us that we need to turn right here shortly. We've got a progress indicator getting ready to tell us to turn. And guess what? You're going to hear it here. Coming up. Boom. Audible tone. So you can now drive with GMAP without looking at the device the whole time. Um, you've got a progress indicator up here, which tells you right before you need to do something. It's coming here. Uh, you'll hear the audible tone. You look down and you know where to turn. It's pretty cool. So those are the new features. I mean, you've got a way preview, tells you what turn that you're going to need to make coming up. You've got your progress indicator, which, you know, fills up when you get closer to uh, something that you need to do. And another feature of 1.3 is the total time and miles remaining indicator. Pretty cool. Right now we're 6.8 miles and 10 minutes. So pretty awesome features and once again with GMAP at any point in time you can change your views. You can zoom in or zoom out, whatever you want. 3D view is my favorite and uh, it's just a, it's nice to have the tweakability and all these options. Uh, but the audible tone was something that we really complained about in 1.2. You know, we love GMAP, but it was like, hey, just give us something to know when we need to turn. And the folks at X-Road have done it, and uh, kudos to them for doing that. So let's cancel this route, and we're going to go back to the menu here. And let's go to our route options. Uh, we were already there. I'm sorry about that. Let's go to our route here. And this is the feature I was telling you about earlier that works in conjunction with traffic pattern. And that's the optimal departure time. Um, and that's, once again, it's a pretty kick butt app, you know, feature to have in a GPS application. Pretty awesome. Since YouTube has a 10 minute limit, this concludes part one of the GMAP US 1.3 review. Uh, in part two, we're gonna look at the real 3D view, which is really awesome, and some other features of GMAP, and sort of our thoughts on GMAP 1.3, and uh, some things they're gonna have in the future. So stay tuned. Thank <laughs> you.